Hello, welcome to another video. We will be taking the limit of this expression, but something surprising is in this problem. Let's get into it. It is absolutely impossible for me to take this limit just the way it is because again this is infinity so i can't plug in infinity so what i can say is well as x goes to infinity the natural log of x goes to infinity also so you're taking the infinite root of infinity i don't know how that looks but let's see if we can simplify before taking the limit and then you'll see the surprise in the problem here, let y be equal to this expression, be equal to the ln of x root of x. Well, we know we can rewrite this as x to the 1 over ln of x. Remember that if you take the cube root of anything, it's the same thing as x to the 1 third. That's the same thing as cube root. So we can rewrite this expression this way. And once you write it this way, your eyes are going to pop open and you go, oh, this looks easier than I thought it was going to be. But before we go, well, again, if we take the limit, if I decide to take the limit at this point, it means I'm taking the limit of infinity raised to power zero again. Maybe not as cool, but why don't we take the natural log of both sides and see what we get? Okay, watch this. Remember, what we, our mission is to find the limit of y, since y is this. So we're going to take the limit of y as y goes to infinity. But before we take the limit, let's try and rewrite again. If I take the natural log of y, and I take the natural log of both sides this way, 1 over ln of x, what do you observe? You observe that I can bring this all the way down here. So I have 1 over ln of x times ln of x. That's still ln of y. Now we're going to clean this up. And what does this look like? It looks like the natural log of y is equal to ln of x divided by ln of x. ln of x over ln of x. ln of y is equal to 1. What is y? Well, if you want to get rid of natural log, you take e of both sides. Remember, you raise, make both the exponents for e. So you have e to the ln of y equals e to the 1. Well, let's do it. e to the ln of y is e to the 1, which implies, what do we get? It means that y is equal to e. So that's the surprise. That another way to write e is this way. This is E. This whole thing here. So, what is the question asking? What is the limit as X goes to infinity of E? <laughs> well, E has nothing to do with X. So, it's E. And that's the answer. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.